Meyer, and I teach a class called Hoop Pilates that combines hula hooping, Pilates, and a little bit of yoga. So today I'm going to teach Lauren a few of the basics of Hoop Pilates. I can do it. <laughs> it's good to start Hoop Pilates with a basic warm up, which is about a three minute hoop interval on the waist. And then we're going to move into some shoulder stability exercises. You're going to stand with your feet hips distance apart. You're going to take an inhale. As you exhale, you're going to let your arms slide up with the hoop as your shoulder blades glide down your back. Twist your torso to the side. Inhale, come center. And exhale, twist the other direction. Just wringing out the waist, keeping those arms active. Good. Let's do a little bit of a trick. What you're going to want to make sure is that the arm doesn't go too low and then it doesn't go too high. You're going to give it a little whip to get it going, but then make sure your arm straightens out. You have to let the arm bend in when the hoop is forward. And you're going to let it sneak up your arm. It's going to get past your elbow, above your elbow. Forward, you're going to bend it in. Almost! Good! I'll get this for next time. It's working your deltoids because your arms are elevated like this. <laughs> so we're going to work on an exercise called teaser. You're going to take an inhale. As you exhale, you're going to let one knee float up. Good. And see if you can bring both legs up to a balance. While still holding, While still your, holding your hoop. And it's just a gentle squeeze from here. Beautiful. Yeah. You I can do it. it. I can do it. All you have to do is straighten your legs. That's it. <laughs> Good. I did it for one millisecond. <laughs> so as a cool down for Hoopalotties, you're going to want to stretch out the hips and the sides of the legs. You're going to really reach that back heel back and just let the weight of the pelvis sink heavy to the ground. And then you can go ahead and straighten the legs and just dive into the hoop and bring your hands to the ground and stretch forward. So bringing the hands back onto the hoop, finding your balance. You're going to just transfer the weight forward and come into a balance, which is a tree pose in yoga. And you can return to the work we started with at the beginning with your shoulder stability. Is this a move? <laughs> That's right. Get this thing. If you're lucky enough to be outdoors and have a hula hoop with you, it makes what you're doing really joyful and less, less like exercise and more like play. The reason people find success with these hoops is that they are heavier and larger than the average hoop you would find at a toy store. This is my friend Elaine Tian of Circle Candy who makes all the hoops for my Hoopalotties class. And so you make them all by hand? They are all handmade by me, personally. Um, they're made from a sturdier material than the ones that you find at toy stores. So if you'd like to buy a hoop or know a little bit more about it, my website is circlecandy.com. So I like to end each Hoopalotties class with a jam so that we can practice our moves and be inspired by the way that other people hoop. Here we go. Ay, 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 ay.